what caught your eye from Samsung? Thank you for having me, Ed, as always. So it's interesting, right? Samsung, some of these other companies, they typically come out with maybe a breakthrough new camera feature, uh, big hardware changes, uh, new speakers, some overhauled software interface. But this year, you're not seeing new looking software. You're not seeing new looking hardware. Uh, you're seeing AI, AI everywhere. And so what Samsung's doing to get people to buy their latest phones is integrating artificial intelligence throughout the system. I'll give you a couple examples. I think by far the, the coolest example and something I wish I had in college is a new voice memos app. You can record a lecture and at the end of the lecture, uh, you can get a, a readout of a summary of, of what was discussed with AI. You can use AI to summarize web articles. Uh, you can use AI to do more advanced searches. You can circle something with the stylus that comes with the phone uh, and get insight through Google search. And this is all powered by the Google Gemini models, their nano model, their pro model. They're also talking about integrating their ultra model. Uh, so it's AI everywhere rather than major hardware or software upgrades. So I think that's where the industry is going. You're going to see Apple Apple do the same this fall. Uh, the iPhone 16 is not going to be some massive overhaul. I do think the, the camera changes that Apple will be making this year are more significant than what Samsung has done this year. But in terms of major fundamental shifts, it's all about AI this year from Samsung to Apple. Uh, the other thing that Samsung did was they teased a smart ring. Right. Uh, this is a competitor to Aura. Uh, the company tells us it'll be on sale before the end of the year. Yeah. And I think it's an exciting new product category for them.